I've been thinking a lot recently about the idea of reinventing yourself. I was on a call about a week ago and we were talking about what it truly takes to fully reshape how you view yourself and how you actually act in relation to who you've always known yourself to be. All your limiting beliefs, all of your learned behaviors, all of your thought patterns, all of your action patterns, every like habits, everything you do and know yourself to be, how do you flip that into who you actually want to be? Because I know for myself, and again, for a lot of the guys that I talk to, whether it's just about personal development in general, whether it's friends, whether it's family, whether it's clients, whoever it may be, a lot of us go through life wanting to be something else or someone else. It's almost like sad in a way, right? It's like we want to be a completely different person than we are, but we feel stuck and locked in who we've always known ourselves to be, like I said. And when I think of this for myself, like a year ago when I was extremely overweight, when I was always just indulging in instant gratification, wasting all my time, frustrated with life in general, when I was living that lifestyle, I had tried to lose weight many times before. I tried to like build businesses many times before. I tried to do a lot of things many times before. And it's interesting because I would see results in those things and those results would make me uncomfortable because I was becoming something that I didn't know myself to be. Even though I was seeing results that I wanted to see, I was becoming something that I wasn't comfortable with and so I would self-sabotage. That's where that self-sabotage comes from in imposter syndrome. It's because you're now shaping a brand new version of yourself that's not in alignment with who you used to be. And that's scary. Because once you become this new person, what about all the things that have kept you comfortable all these years? All right? So I've been pondering this idea of like reinvention and over this past year, I've fully reinvented myself and now I'm getting to a point where I need to reinvent myself again. And it's really, it's weird because this seems like it's gonna be a constant progression, but once you know how to reinvent yourself and how to step into that discomfort, it becomes fun. Like it come, becomes like enjoyable. So I wanna share with you how I've been going about that for myself and hopefully it'll help you. So first, it starts with clarity, all right? There, there's really only two steps here and it first starts with clarity. So you need clarity of who you actually want to become. And the way that I do this, I learned this from a Wes Watson video and then I've adapted it and revised it and like taken it and made it my own where I fully dissect what I would want to look like, what I would want to act like, what I would not want to act like, the energy that I would want to carry myself with, the character values I hold myself to, the standards I hold myself to, the, the demeanor that I carry myself with when I walk into a room. I have affirmations that I, that I kind of go through and reminders that I go through that all fall in alignment with who I would want to be. So very, very clear outline of the appearance, whether that's facial hair, actual hairstyle, whether that's jewelry that you might wear, tattoos that you might want to have, facial hair, whatever it may be for you, full appearance outline. Follow that with actions that would, those actions would have to be required in order to attain this appearance. And those actions would also come from someone who has these character values and has this demeanor and, ha and holds themselves with this energy, right? All of this stuff has to be in perfect alignment. And so you make this extremely clear vision and it takes a while. Like <laughs> it'll take like a good sit down of like two hours, like just full brainstorming about who you want to become. At least that's what it takes for me. And I, I find myself revising this every month or two months where I'm like, oh, I need to change this thing or change this thing. You create an extremely clear outline of who you want to become. And then step two is removal. And this is where it gets really tough. So now you have this very clear outline, right? You have this very clear vision of who you want to become and you're like, fuck yeah, that's who I'm going to be. And then you have to start removing things that aren't in alignment with it. And a lot of those things that aren't in alignment with it are going to be the things that bring you the most comfort, bring you the most pleasure in the moment, make you feel like yourself. And you have to start removing them. For me, those things were video games, binge eating, 
weed, like the things that I would turn to whenever I felt uncomfortable, whenever I felt negative, I would turn to these things to make myself feel better, to escape these things. You have to start removing them. And it's way easier said than done. And it becomes, the way that I would recommend to do it is one by one, start removing the things that are the most detrimental. So pick the, for me, binge eating was the first one. That was the first thing I had to remove. And I did that through doing 75 hard. I committed to 75 hard and for 75 days, I didn't have a single cheat meal. I ate only whole foods, healthy foods, lost a good amount of weight. And within that 75 days, it taught me that I didn't have to rely on binge eating. And then after that, I started to attack the weed. And that's actually not necessarily true because I pulled the weed out for 75 hard and then I finished 75 hard, jumped back in to smoking a bunch of weed and then I started attacking the weed again. And then it became video games. And that was just recent because I stopped playing video games for a long time fell back into it when I faced a lot of stress in life. And then I was like, this isn't conducive to my goals. I need to remove it again. And now I haven't played video games in a while. You have to remove these things and be consciously focused on like, cause your brain's going to trick you. Your brain's going to find different pathways to be like, bro, this can justify actually playing some games and this can justify some binge eating. And you've been making a lot of progress, bro. You could do this. And there's going to be so much, that tries to pull you back to the person that you've always been and known yourself to be. And it's gonna be so enticing because you know yourself as that person. And you're living out of alignment with how you know yourself to be. So you're like, that seems like what I should be doing. And my brain is making it sound super, super, uh, I guess just enticing. It's making it seem super easy to go back to and it like it wouldn't be an issue. It would be, it, it's frustrating, bro. It's a very frustrating time when you realize in order to become who it is you want to become, it's a process of removal of all the things that have made you, you. All the things that have made you, you need to be removed. And that's scary because then who do you become? And again, we clarified who you become. And that's one thing that allows you to like really start taking these steps because you have this vision of where you're going to end up. So it's not just this unknown. It's this clear vision that you have, but it's still scary because as I say in a lot of videos, change, regardless of if it's for the better or the worse, will always be uncomfortable because it's change. You're moving into the unknown. But through this practice of building true clarity, you can, you can make that unknown a little, you can soften the blow a little bit. And so that's been the process. I'm in the process right now of doing it again, like really reinventing myself and discovering what it is I would want to change about myself now. Because in the past, it was like, I want to stop binge eating. I want to stop being this like perpetual pleasure chasing, just like negative person. I don't want to be that anymore. And so now I've become a completely different person and I'm facing different challenges and facing different uh, mindset issues and discipline issues with different aspects of life. It's actually like, as, in, as, as tough as it is, it's actually very fun and interesting. The progress is really fun. And it's like, a, it's almost like a game in a way. And I'm enjoying it. So I'm in the process of doing that now and I'm excited to see kind of where I end up taking it for myself. And I hope you have fun doing the same thing. And I hope this helped you. I really appreciate you watching. If you want a free self mastery guide, there's a link in the description. If you want to join my coaching program where I help guys with fitness, mindset, habits, and discipline, you can do that through the link in the description as well. And if you want to join the community discord, we got that popping again. You can click the link in the description as well. There's three, there's three links down there. There's four, cause there's also my Instagram. You should follow me on Instagram, bro. I'm on there all the time. I'm posting stories, I'm posting reels. That's where you get more of like a behind the scenes look of just life. I mean, it's not like I post like crazy edited videos here too. I just post this shit, but <laughs> I hope it helps you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Reinvent yourself, bro. Let go of everything that has made you, you, especially if you don't like who you are. Cause I know what that feels like and it sucks.
and you don't have to keep living that way, bro. So I hope this helped you. I appreciate you watching. Take care, bro.